So we're here in the Mobile World Congress with Luca Morpurgo, Country Manager Italy in Spain from Sticky Arts TV. Hello, Luca. Hello, good see morning. you. Good morning. See you last time I was in September in the, the Mexico in Köln. Now see you yeah. in Barcelona. I, I hope you like it also, like Cologne. This is our country here in Spain. Uh, one thing I want to ask you uh, what is Sticky Arts TV? No, TV. What service do you offer? Can you explain us, please? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, Sticky Ads is it's, uh, an SSP video platform. Uh, is uh, built uh, to help publishers monetize their inventory. We are uh, targeting premium publishers and we are offering to the publisher uh, the opportunity of uh, making money selling their inventory. Uh, in a controlled way and with transparency. This means that through the mechanism of uh, PX, they can put into the private exchange their inventory and they can decide uh, how much of that inventory, at what price, to whom they want to sell. Then they can offer it to the market uh, that has access to their PX on the basis of uh, the invitation they mm -hmm. make to them. Okay. What are the main uh, customers of Sticky Arts TV, TV? What are the services most in demand of them at this moment? The, uh, let's say that we mainly have uh, three types of uh, customers. Uh, the first one is definitely TV broadcasters. We, we are born for TV, we are, we are built for TV. Uh, the second one is large media groups, like for instance in Spain, Prisa, uh, mm -hmm. or uh, Unidad Editorial, okay, Rosento. Rosento okay. uh, and the third one is uh, the big ad networks. So we help mm -hmm. monetize mm -hmm. uh, the large inventories of the mm -hmm. biggest ad networks. Okay, okay. These are our clients. Because I think the problem of them is that they need to monetize. No, they have too much, sometimes too much stock, and they yeah. no, it's a problem. I think, and yeah. also it's a problem because sometimes the prices are not very good paid for this. That, uh, I think a, in online we have too much, this too much is stock. Definitely no? a problem. It's a problem. We have all the markets. Uh, yeah, absolutely. No? Yes, and uh, uh, for this reason we just focused on the video market, okay. which is the high part okay, of the market. Okay. Where the inventory, by the way, is not yes. so huge, yes, yes. and okay. this could be an opportunity for okay. everybody to raise the prices. Yes, it's a problem with this, in Spain with these problems. I think you are international man, you know the markets yeah. in Italy. I think Spain, the problem is that the prices are not very high. So sometimes, both well, end and this, all these big editorials, they say, yeah. We are not happy. We are not happy with the prices. I, I can <clears> tell you that they are not happy. We are not happy. Also not happy. No? Uh, <laughs> And uh, to mm -hmm. give you some figures, yes. uh, as you said, we are a, a global and international company. Yes. So we have uh, uh, an overview about the market everywhere. Talking about Europe, yes, yes. I can tell you that in UK the prices are three times the three Spanish. Three times the Spanish. In Germany, in also, Germany no? as well. In France are sure. the double. Mm -hmm. And Italy. Uh, which is closer to Spain, yes, yes, Latin, is, Latin, is, is anyway yes. uh, 30 to 40 percent more. So what's the problem of, the, of our Spanish market? We are here in Barcelona, what is the problem or what we have to do better? Luca, tell uh, me I some think tips. I <laughs> Give me some tips, please, I, I for would, the market. I, I, I would like to have the good uh, recipe <laughs> for, for that. I think that the publisher <laughs> yes. um, must have uh, uh, more strength and be uh, conscious that their premium inventory yes. can be sold at higher prices okay. because at the end of the day if the strategy of the media buyers or the clients yes. uh, is also the video strategy yes. they cannot avoid to do it so if you are a publisher with big brands like Prisa for example See. or the yes. ones I mentioned before yes. just to give yes, you yes. some name uh, I think that they can offer a quality of the brand that no one else is able to offer. And this quality must be paid mm -hmm. by the customer. Okay. Because it's true that they can yes. find inventory also elsewhere. Mm -hmm. yes, But probably not with the same power, with mm -hmm. the same uh, 
efficiency yes. that the big groups can offer. Because now we, when, when you go to elmundo.es, I read it, like everybody or a lot of people who likes this business, information business, uh, there's too much because the prices are low, so there's too much, so people will block the ads. That's also so, a and problem that's problem. happening, no? And in all countries and in Spain, I think also very big. Yes. Because they give us too much ads because they need the money. The money is low, they pay low, so they put a lot in the page and it's not good for the customer, Absolutely. for the reader. Absolutely. It, no, Absolutely. It's, it's a problem. So, the, the problem could be solved mm -hmm. with uh, new formats, for, for yes. example, okay. and we, we are uh, working also with uh, new formats like uh, the in-text, uh, which is not uh, uh, made uh, exclusively by us, yes. uh, but I believe that uh, this kind of format is offering to the big publisher, mainly the news publisher, mm -hmm. the opportunity of putting their uh, inventory and the advertising inside the context and the content mm -hmm. they are offering to the readers. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say not being too much interested. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but this is not recognized by the market. And mm -hmm. So they have to push mm -hmm. on that and mm -hmm. convince the buyers that this kind of opportunity mm -hmm. must be exploited and not taken apart, uh, mm -hmm. looking all, only for pre-rolls, uh, yes. mid-rolls and post-rolls. Yes. So in Spain we have to work more on the market, more on the buyers, more on the advertisers, yes. not to, to explain them, to yes. invest the money in other formats and... Yes. Okay. What strategy is following Sticky Ads TV on the Spanish market? What is different with other markets? Okay, I think you you, told, you tell us, no, this is the problem. Some other points so, you want to... Well, to let's say that uh, mm -hmm. talking about our strategy for the Spanish market uh, is uh, to go to the main publisher as we are doing today. Okay. We are having with all the main publisher very interesting meetings, uh, explaining them how the technology can help them to monetize their inventory better. Mm -hmm. Not taking the place of their sales houses, not taking the place of anyone else, but being an other option mm -hmm. to monetize it. And okay. uh, so our target for this year will be to open private exchanges on our platform with all, let's say all is quite ambitious, but let's say all enough, enough. the tier one publisher of Spain mm -hmm. as we did by the way in the other countries in France in Italy in Germany in UK as well okay what are the main trends in multi-screen dramatic video at this moment Luca well let's say that uh, we are here in Barcelona for the mobile uh, World Congress mm -hmm. which is a very huge event I believe that mobile uh, is quite limiting the uh, aspect of uh, content uh, distribution and uh, it is true that mobile is today approximately 50% of the user uh, approach to the content, yes. either uh, press, either video, but it's not the only one. That's why Sticky Ads, for example, is uh, looking at the multi-channel, not only mobile. So TV, okay. uh, desktop, okay. mobile web, and in-app. Okay, different platforms. Yeah. So for mm -hmm. us, uh, multi-channel is, uh, mm -hmm. is mandatory. And is, by the way, what we are offering to publishers and buyers from the beginning. Because we all, we all, we hope that the mobile is the big, big ad platform, but we are seeing it's, 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 it's not growing, it, it, it has yeah. to be, no? Because Today. everybody has mobile here, and has, yes. has target, but the advertisers, something is not working this, very good. This is no? the problem to overcome, and I believe that uh, mobile hmm. today has some issue to solve about uh, the dimension of the device, so the opportunity of uh, viewing and offering the advertising as in big screens uh, as a problem of uh, operating system, okay. as a problem of tracking, so different issues.
believe that the strategy should be not to be mobile, but to be multi multi, device, multi, device. multi channel. Okay. And the last uh, question I have to I have to uh, I want to to ask you, uh, Sticky Arts TV has launched a new product known as Sticky Direct. Yes. Can you explain the objective of this new tool? Yeah, absolutely, yes. Please. Uh, <coughs> the objective of uh, Sticky Direct that has been announced uh, when we saw in Dimexto in September okay. in a okay. better, better version yes. uh, is now becoming a reality. So we started to use it and uh, mm -hmm. uh, to offer it to mm -hmm. the publishers. Mm -hmm. Uh, at the end of the day, it's a way of uh, disintermediate the process of selling and buying. So, we are building a storefront for the publisher mm -hmm. where they will be able to put their inventory uh, with the prices, uh, with the number of impressions, with the targets, uh, the name of the brands and blah blah blah, and invite directly the buyers to buy on the platform their inventory. Okay. This is uh, mm -hmm. this is Sticky Direct. Okay. Uh, it's uh, it's a kind of uh, disintermediation and uh, guaranteed uh, programmatic guaranteed type of uh, buying. So uh, the publisher can guarantee to the buyers the opportunity of buying okay. that inventory at that price. Okay. So you are happy with these days here? Yeah, this is our third day, no? You, I think you yes. started on Monday. Yes. Are you happy with this fair this year? Some cows with the with the taxis and these things, but how are you living this personally? How are you uh, living these days? Absolutely, mm. positive, uh, positive experience. experience. Uh, a lot of uh, mm. people, uh, everybody knows that uh, uh, more or less 100,000 people are expected Excellent. to visit. But uh, in this particular uh, pavilion, okay, eight. Uh, it's business and mm -hmm. we have seen a lot, a lot of visitors coming for business. So yes. High very, quality visitors. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, and different to Cologne, no? different to the disco, you know uh, big difference or not? Uh, I think that it's mm. quite similar. Similar, to okay. Uh, from a business point of view. Okay. Uh, we are talking mobile here, just mobile, uh, and mobile is the, the next step. Uh, as long as today uh, there is not too much demand and quite a high offer of uh, uh, video mobile mm -hmm. and display mobile inventory, mm -hmm. uh, it means that uh, no one has still found the key. Uh, and this is what we are find, uh, looking for and fighting for. We hope you find it, so you will make the big business. Thank, no? thank, you, thank you, you. Thank you. And thank you very much for your time, and hope you My have pleasure. a good business days. My pleasure. Thank you.